Hey guys, welcome to my channel Beauty by Telly. In today's video, I'm gonna be swatching and wearing for you guys the new MAC Maker collaboration of Main Mendoza. So if you want to see this lipstick and lip gloss worn separately and then together, please keep on watching. So the first round of MAC Makers created their products last 2018. Influencers from all over the world had the chance to design their own packaging and signature shade. Main was known to have caused a nationwide scarcity in MAC Ruby Woo, a signature MAC red shade, but she unexpectedly went with a nude shade. And while it sold out in under a minute, the candid reaction online, I wasn't able to try it myself, take note, was that it was difficult to wear for the deeper skin tone morenas. The shade tended to wash out and look concealery on the darker skin tones. With that in mind, I'm really glad to see a darker red shade from Maine this time, especially since it's what she's really known for. Okay, so the main DCM matte lipstick is housed in a lightweight gold tube. It is 1,100 pesos for 3 grams. And it is a dramatic plum red shade that pulls differently on the different people I saw in the event. So if you're wearing really red or really dark colored lipstick, my tip for you guys is to cover your lip line well. Because no matter how straight you draw your lip line, if you have some of your natural lip color sort of blending through out across of your lip area, it's going to look from afar like messy lipstick application. So try to really block that area out, keep it really flat, and cover everything in the area. So this is the main lipstick. You can see that it's this gorgeous plum red, kind of like dark brown. I love it. I think it's really interesting. You'll note that there's a little bit of shine even if it's a matte finish. Like I can see some shimmer here and I feel that no matter how I take care with my application and even if my lips were conditioned because this isn't the first time for me to try this lipstick, I feel that it's showing up sheerer in some places. Like it's, re it's way darker here. And then there's a light area here. The product itself has this sort of level of translucency and it's not full on matte. So on one hand, that makes it way easier to apply. On the other hand, it's going to be harder to shop around and look at swatches online because even during the launch event, I found that it looked differently on different people because a lot of the people were already wearing their MAC lipsticks. And I think it's this sort of translucent quality of it that sort of lets the colors and undertones of the lipstick itself interact differently with the different undertones of everybody's lip colors and skin tones. Which isn't to say that it's a bad thing. Actually, I think it's a really good thing. With the wrong color, definitely a translucent and not full quality can be a bit of a gamble. But with this one, the way it's not fully opaque makes it very very interesting so i love how it plays off with a lot of the skin tones that i saw even right now on mine it's not fully opaque but i like it that way like i think it just gives the whole lip look an extra dimension so i'm applying the main mac lip gloss and i'm going to be putting it on the spatula and scooping that up with a disposable wand because I plan to use this on my clients and I want to use it sanitarily. The main DCM lip gloss goes in a matching gold cap tube. It is 1,200 pesos for 3.1 ml. This color is surprisingly vivid. Or alternatively, just get a clean one and dip it right in. So as you can see with the upper lip where I was able to scoop up a lot more product, the pigmentation is layerable. 
you can shear it out to something a little more natural if you wanted to but you could also layer the product a lot heavier for a more dramatic or a more pigmented look this is a thin-ish layer actually it's already a medium layer but i'm gonna keep layering it on to show you guys just like the full strength that you can achieve with this color of course i'm gonna stop when it starts to feel uncomfortable and too thick So this is pretty much as dark as the main DCM lip glass goes and I think even if you were the kind of person to stay away from glosses because you want full color products, I think like this is still like way way colorful. I love the shade. I find it super duper wearable. I think a lot of people from pretty fair to deep skin tones can easily pull off this color. It has a great amount of brown and a great depth to it that actually makes it a pretty interesting lip product. At first when I heard about this lip glass, I didn't think it would be that exciting because I think 15 or so years ago, I got super turned off from the lip glasses back when they had the thick consistency of rice porridge or gao gao or rugby or just pancake syrup. I mean, it was really heavy when I first tried it and I swore off lip glasses from that point on. But this one, I'm surprised. It feels like really lightweight, but this amount, which I did kind of overload up on, it already transfers to my teeth. But I, I guess I just really wanted to show you guys like how much color you can pack on with this lip glass. So let's take it down a notch and move on to a more reasonable coating or layer of this lip glass. So this I find is a much more reasonable layer of the lip gloss. I like how no matter how fair your skin tone is or deep it is, I think this is the kind of color that you'll never look pale in it. It doesn't have to necessarily be dramatic, but definitely for lighter skinned people like me, it is going to lean that way. But I think for darker skinned people, this is still going to look like something pleasant and wearable to wear all day long. I highly recommend this shade. I'm a convert. Coming into the launch, I thought it would be like just an extra added bonus or somebody's like pahabol idea of something that would be kind of like a nice add-on. Not really realizing that there was so much more to lip glasses than the maple syrup that I experienced 15 years ago. So combined together, however, is my favorite way of wearing it. The matte lipstick alone has a dramatic color but not a dramatic finish. It would have been better as a macro matte, I think, but coupled with the lip glass, I find that it just screams class and elegance. So this is the main lipstick layered with the main lip glass and I have to say, this is my favorite wear of wearing this MAC Maker collection. So I find that the lighter red color of the lip gloss doesn't detract from the depth or the drama of the matte lipstick, but instead makes it look deeper and dare I say more glamorous. So with the earlier shade, while I did find that it looked interesting as a matte lipstick that was slightly imperfect, if that sort of thing bothers you, I suggest layering the lip gloss over it because somehow with the lip gloss over it, the whole lip look evens out without really detracting or taking away from the depth and the intensity of the previous color. It of course slightly alters, but I find that it alters in a good way. It enhances the drama of the lip color and it goes really, really well with it. So that was main second shot at the MAC Maker collection. I think this time the color formulation is superb. I love the depth of the red. It's like a really intense and dramatic kind of red, but one that is super duper easy to wear. 
I know a lot of brighter or darker reds can be quite intimidating. It might not feel like something a lot of people would try, but I find this one, it looks very good. So I find that a lot of people can get interested or can get into reds with something like this. Okay, so breaking it down technically, there is a purpleness or wineness to this color of red. But I find that there's also a lot of brown to it that makes it at home and sort of a safe and easy color to wear for the typical Pinay skin tone. Actually, I find that even if you are cool toned, this formulation of color, this specific mix of color is quite easy to wear. And with the color being so easy to wear this time, I'm pretty excited to see more people from different skin tones pull this color off. So that's today's video. I hope you guys liked it or learned something new. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please do consider subscribing to my channel and turn on the bell icon for notifications every time I post a new video. Hope to see you guys on the next one. Bye!